we at Bit2 would like to welcome you to this short video tutorial. Today we will take a look at how we set up a TD measurement using the guard compensation. Thereby we will look on the DOT connection with the HVA with an internal TD unit as well as an external TD unit itself. In this video we will focus on the connection technique only. If you would like to know more information about the general measurement setup, you are welcome to watch our video from this series about the general setup of a TD measurement. You can find all of our videos and tutorials on our website. Please note that this tutorial is intended to provide you with a basic overview about the TD measurement setup considering the guard compensation. When carrying out measurements yourself, Please always follow your country specific safety regulation as well as the B2 operating manual and the B2 safety manual. Now we will briefly go into how the guard compensation basically works and what advantages it has for our measurement. When we recommend using it and what you should pay attention to. In principle it can be said that the use of the guard compensation is not mandatory. What does the guard compensation actually bring us? Let's first take a look at the measurement without it. When measuring without the guard, leakage currents flow through the current meter and influence the tangent's delta. When the guard is connected, leakage currents are sensed and measured separately and therefore do not influence the tangent's delta. We therefore recommend to use the guard for scientific purpose and short cables. The inspection of the terminations before the measurement is advisable. They should be always dry and free of pollution. Now let's take a look at how the guard compensation is used in a second generation HVA. We now connect the guard to the termination. It should be checked that the guard tape fits correctly. Furthermore, it is important to know that the leakage current detection is installed on the low voltage side of the HVA second generation. Therefore the tape is placed on the heat shrink over the cable shield on the DUT. By the external TD units the leakage current detection is on the high voltage side. For this reason the guard is placed as close to the cable lock as possible. It is important that the guard band and the cable lock do not touch each other. For voltages from 50 kV, we recommend to use Corona Shields for TD diagnostic. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about B2 and our products, please visit our website. And if you have any technical queries about your B2 device, please contact our technical support at support at b2hv.com.